Hello and welcome to another quick hardware tutorial from Prem Repos. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your OXO Evoke till system. Now, the package includes the till itself, the cash drawer, the receipt printer, and the barcode scanner. Right, firstly I'm going to show you the actual till itself and the ports around the back so you can get an idea of what they are. First one is the Ethernet, then the power, then two USBs, two USB type C's, two more faster speed USBs, two COM ports and a cash draw connection. The cash draw connection we won't be using for this particular video. So the power connection has got four pins on the end of it for the actual till system. Now it only goes in one way so don't force it. So go ahead and plug that in. I can now show you the actual printer connections as well. So on the printer connections we have, on the far right we have the power, we have the USB connection, we have the serial connection which we won't be using, we've got the cash drawer connection and the LAN connection. Now very similar to the TIL system, except this time this has got a 3 pin connection. And again, it only goes in one way, so don't force it. So you pop that one into the far right connection, like so. Next, we'll plug in the USB connection. Now, this end here, the square end, plugs directly into the printer. And I pop it into that port there. You can set that aside. And then the other end, the USB end, can plug directly into any of the USB ports in the back of the till. Generally I plug them into the far left ones like so. Next I can show you how to assemble the barcode scanner. Now you connect the stand to the handle and now the top cradle part you unscrew the one end You then feed through the screw into the cradle and screw tightly. Once that is in place, you can angle it and you can place the USB barcode scanner on top. And again, very same connection as your printer. Plug it into the one right next to the printer, like so. And don't forget to plug your till into your Ethernet connection. So either at the back of a switch or a router and that plugs into the far left next to the power connection. Pop that in. Right, now we'll do a little bit of a tidying up. Feel free to plug the devices directly into your mains. Right, once everything's all nice and neat and tidy, there's one final connection to plug in, which is the cash drawer connection. Now that actually plugs into the back of the printer. And it plugs into this port there, right next to the power connection. Don't confuse it with the one on the far left, which is the LAN connection. It should have a DK next to it. Right, once you're happy with it all, you can now turn on the till with the power button right there. And there you have it, all set up for you, all booted up, and you're ready to make some sales. Thank you for watching, I do hope this has been useful, check you out next time, see you now.